Well, hello, good afternoon, everybody. We should be uh, up and away in a few moments with our coverage, what I'm sure will be a fascinating game. There is an added sense of drama provided by the elements, actually. The rain has once more decided to appear at this most inopportune of moments, and it is heavy rain. It does not dampen the atmosphere. The turnout here is good. The noise is very good. It remains colourful, but it could be a problem for the players because the pitch might very quickly turn heavy. We'll see as it all plays out over the next couple of hours here. The ultra-modern home of Arsenal, a symbol of their class, their timeless sophistication. Who do you, Jim, see making the difference here? Yeah, Gabriel Jesus, he's always going to be a massive threat, Peter. And that's primarily because his movement off the ball is so effective. Even if he doesn't end up touching the ball, he usually plays a part in his team's attacking plays because he's dragged people out of position. And that can be an obvious help to those around him. He's uh, full of enthusiasm. Yes, he's certainly the one who carries the hopes of his team. And if he did just miss it, we are up and running already. Hits one! That's a fine save! Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. And it's been taken short. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal, and he didn't go for the back heel. Gabriel Jesus, more than happy to take the muscular approach. Played back in, going through. Nelson. Billing plays it out to the flank. Tierney sends it forward. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Cook. Anything noteworthy in the early part of the match, Jim? Well, I think both teams probably feel it's it's too early for either to start taking real risks. So they're still very much in a phase of, of testing the waters and, and sizing each other up. Tierney hoists it forward. Gabriel Jesus in with the challenge. Still goalless at the moment. Lerma. Well, they've seen lots of the ball. Time to go for it a bit. A bit of creativity and adventure. Cook. Lerma. Cook does well to read it and intercepts. Solanke. Solanke! And it's a goal! First blood drawn. It is a good finish. The odds were against him. Little matter. Solanke really showed good strength there. Held his man off, didn't let himself get bullied, and got his effort away. Maintained control. Bournemouth put themselves into the lead. Yeah, this is also a chance to see what happens to their level of concentration from here. Gabriel Jesus. Oh, real 
danger here. Cook, hoist it clear. Partey. Gets his foot in there. And he's there to cut it out. Gets good distance on it. Beautifully done. Just brushed off the ball there. Lerma. Cook. And it's played forward. Billing. He spotted the run and played him through. He's had a goal! He's done very well to get to that. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. He's got a crucial block in there. Partey. Oh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Oh, that just required a bit more oomph to reach its target. Lerma. Hill. Lerma. Cook. Smith. This could... Has a pop! Oh, that is asking for trouble. And he's there to clear it. Oh, he's managed to get himself offside. And the referee brings the first half to a close. There we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Not the most convincing of displays. They could certainly do much better than this. They'll want to keep things simple, build up their confidence, and not rush into mistakes. And the second half gets underway. So, 45 minutes to turn it round. Cahill. Going for goal! Well, that's confidence for you. Distance doesn't even bother him. Lerma. Lerma drives it forward, and it's Smith. Played out to the right, over it comes. Xhaka goes looking. Billing, 
Held by a goal, needing to go up a gear. That's how it looks here. Time and again, they are repelled. Well, it seems obvious that the plan is to, to try and get their passing game going again, but not with that lack of quality. Well played, he saw that coming. Well, it's good stuff. This is better. Well, hope is just about the sum of it, isn't it, Jim? Spot on, Peter. Cook switches it towards the other side. Billing kings it out wide. Looking for a decent ball in. Away from immediate danger. Managed to get it away. Gets the better of his man. Breaks on here. Oh, great defending. That needed doing. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. Brooks. Lerma plays it forward. Solanke. Out to the right. Back into the middle. Cleared away. Well, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Oh, real shapes to shoot! Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. It's got through. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. And that'll go straight through to the keeper. Lerma. It is looking like the end. If anything's going to happen, it's got to happen now. They need something heroic now, or a lucky break, or a kind refereeing decision. Anything. Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. Look, their supporters must be going balmy about this because there's no sense of purpose in what we're seeing. Moments left, barely that, to avoid a shock defeat now. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. He's gone direct. That is simply superb. He's got himself a pitch of a goal. And that should do it. Within sight of the finish line. Oh, that is a bit special. Bournemouth could not have picked a better time to snatch a two-goal lead. Is there still time for a response? Yeah, looks very much like the final nail in the coffin for me, I have to say. Yeah, he's fouled him there.
Neto catches it safely. Billing. And that will be the final act. No joy for the players, nor indeed for the loyal fans. It has ended in defeat. A thoroughly disappointing outcome. Your final thoughts, Jim? Well, overconfidence and or cockiness should never be allowed to filter into a dressing room, but they failed to heed the warning. That's it for today. Thank you, Jim, and goodbye.